Yeah, baby! My mic is muted. I'm so glad I caught that. Um, Foraging 25! Woo! Gatherer 5, Reach Foraging level 25. I've just been doing the rods. Oh my god. It's derpy right now, which is the only reason I'm forging. Like, I hate this skill with a burning passion. I think 90% of the Skyblock uh, community agrees. Um, it's so bad. I've been, the three main, I guess four trees I've been cutting down are oak, dark oak. Dark oak, obviously, because it's the best. Oak, not so much, but the reason it's in the list is because it's in the hub, and the hub you can get private lobbies, so you don't have people coming in every, like, two seconds taking your trees like I just did to this guy twice. Oh my god, three times. Uh, when it comes to forging, there is no love lost. At least in the Dark Oak. Other places, like, try and be a bit respectful, but in this, in the Dark Oak Forest, it is first come, first serve. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. But yeah, I am no, I'm leaving no trees. But the, the reason I'm... Oh, and Acacia. Jungle, Dark Oak, and Acacia. Uh, reason for Acacia... It's for to upgrade giraffe a cat. You need eight stacks. Ocelot, you need eight stacks of jungle wood. It's also the second best tree. Uh, just in terms of like XP, I think, because of how big the trees are. Like it's nowhere near dark oak size. But um, I remember somewhere it said that like jungle trees are the next best. But I mean dark oak's chill right now. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of swap between those three right now. It's actually not too, too bad. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of missing trees and whatnot, but I just kind of pop in like that. And I feel like a lot of people are going to say, oh, we're legendary ocelot. It, it gives absolutely no difference in XP, whether it's legendary or not. Like absolutely none. It's still 30 foraging wisdom, so... Might as well grind those materials while leveling up foraging, eh? I mean, obviously not now, but heck, who knows? Maybe with the dark oak I saw, I can afford some stuff. So, yeah. I gotta go back to this. I got a few hours of this. My goal this derpy is to hit at least, like, foraging 30 or 35. Something like that. Alright, he stole it from me. But yeah, that's kind of my goal. Is jungle. There's only two guys. Yeah, that's doable. So as you can see, I, um, I'm kind of tired of dark oak. I go back to jungle. And voila. And then I run around in circles again. So yeah, I'm going to start stop ranting and just go back to cutting down some trees. Alright, this tree right here. Forging 26. Level 358. Okay. And immediately going back in for like another hour and a half just to get the next level this is a ridiculous skill a lot of people would are probably gonna say in like the video when this comes out three months in the future from when I re i'm recording this they're gonna be saying oh wait for the forging update or hell who knows the forging update might actually already be out by then <laughs> but it's derpy and i don't want to do dungeons because i've already done too many of them during paul um, yeah, I used to have like 220 mil. I got three Shadow Furies and a Shadow Assassin chest plate. And I still only have 117 mil left. So yeah, let's not talk about how many Legions I bought during M5. So yeah. Forging 26, I got another few levels to go. And by a few, I mean a lot. And actually... Something interesting might happen if I do a slash recipe acacia. We do bada bing bada boom. And I do actually have enough. Yeah, baby. Woo! Reason I was. Uh, that is the wrong pet. That's the correct pet. Um, I can call up cat. I'm probably gonna need more coins. 
So let's just grab out the entire six. Screw it. All right. And now I'm actually gonna probably go do dark oak because I already have all the jungle I need as well for my ocelot right here. Five ninety nine. I needed five twelve. So yeah, I finished Acacia, now I can do Dark Oak. So I missed the actual um, notification, but as you can see here, I am now forging 27. This is by far one of the worst grinds I've had to do, but strangely enough, I think I've said this already in, a few, in some clips, it's kind of relaxing, you just kind of run around, cut a tree. It's brainless, don't get me wrong, it's like farming, but completely brainless. But it's pretty chill, I believe. Um, you run around, not too much competition in the jungle area, so it's... I really like this. It's like, a lot of people are like, Ah, forging man! It's, it's tolerable when um, you have to do it. Like, I technically don't have to do it during Derpy, it's just that I'm sick of dungeons. And I want to save some coins, so it's like, eh, what's another skill I need? Oh, uh, foraging. Let's go do that. I could also technically level up my G-Drag because of the more, more skill XP, but I've been sitting on foraging for so long that I just kind of want to get, get it looking nicer. Because foraging 24 was not cutting it. And I'm already foraging 27, and it's just barely day two. So yeah, it's 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 tolerable. That's the word for it. Would I do this again? Absolutely not. Like on my Iron Man profile, um, I just have a bunch. I have a few forging minions down for collection and craft reasons, and I explicitly told my co-op member I don't care what minions you claim, just do not touch the forging minions. Since I managed to craft a legendary ocelot first try, I've been leveling that up as well as my own foraging level. So that's that's kind of been the plan for that profile, which I don't think I'll be making content on anytime soon. So don't expect it. But yeah, so foraging 27, a few hundred K, I don't even know how much anymore. Uh, 275,000 coins. I'm slowly making money from foraging that I've spent on dungeons. But all right, I'm gonna go back to it now. All right, I'm 0 0.01 XP away from foraging 28. So bada bing, bada boom, foraging 28. I'm streaming right now, and I'm about to do some capoeira Q&A with the chat. So let me just send this in the guild. Let me send that in the all chat. And I'm going to go back to cutting trees and giving coins as a Q&A. So in the midst of a goblin raid, something really exciting has happened. I finished up three of the like six or seven new pets I think added. And I also have a Dwarven Metal Talisman cooking up with the new recipe. It's not that bad actually. It's only like refined tungsten and glass side amalgamation. So really not that bad. They also nerfed the cost of the reinforced chisel instead of needing plates. I think it only need, needs like refined tungsten and amber making it a lot more worth it. So that's what I did. But yes, I have three new pets. The Mammoth, which grants cold resistance, um, grants a percentage chance for mobs to not inflict cold when damaging you in the mine shafts, uh, grants magic find for every hundred mining fortune doubled in glacite tunnels and mine shafts, and gives mining fortune for each frozen corpse looted in a mine shaft. And you mine. Thank you. The T-Rex attacks at a point uh, one or have a percentage chance to stun the target. 10 second cooldown. Deal percentage more damage to enemies within 1.5 blocks. I can see this actually being very good. 
against uh, like slayers and whatnot where you're right up in their face. And stats granted by pet items on this pet are increased by 1%. I feel like with this pet, when level 100 with like an antique remedies or something like that, would be really good for LCM as a budget LCM setup. Instead of using like the lion, which is also good, like 150% damage against mobs that have attacked you and the other stats. This is really good. And Ankylosaurus, uh, gain percentage of your defense as strength, basically the exact reverse of the Baby Yeti. Increase the effectiveness of Last Stand and Lifeline by a percentage. And every fifth hit, deal 0.5% of your final damage to enemies within five blocks. Enemies hit, deal 10% less damage for 10 seconds. This, I feel like, if I were to run full gold ore, is the pet I would run. I would probably put, like, I don't know, some thing that grants it defense. And it would just be cracked. No, no, just straight up just be super good. But yes, the main reason... Skyblock XP, Skyblock XP, and Skyblock XP. And you know what? I, I put my horse in here, but I'll just use 500 bits on a cat flower just for that juice and Skyblock XP. It is still currently derpy. 15, I'm 72% of the way to level 360. I'm probably gonna, actually, hold up. Cause I'm very close to forging 30 and I think that's where I'm just gonna end up stopping this derpy. Yeah, 20 skyblock XP. I'm not gonna go any further than that cause I kinda wanna level up some pets. But Jesus, three new pets, that's a lot of skyblock XP. And now, actually, I'm going to Warp Forge and throw in the stuff to make the hand warmers. The the Dwarven hand warmers, because this is actually better than the Glowstone or Vanquished Glowstone Gauntlet now. So the one I currently have is going to become my full-time mage, so I'll have to reforge that to Brilliant. Never mind, that needs a plate. I did not realize that. Okay. Uh, that's no biggie. Tungsten plate, boom. And umber plate, boom. So yeah, I might be here when these are done. I might not. I'll have to see, but... I'm progressing. I'm doing some progress. I don't know if I'll do this, but we'll see. This guy, once I get some amalgamations back, I can easily do. I have the plate, the handle, etc. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to go back to the grind now. Alright, it's the last day of Derpy, and the Hoppity Chocolate Factory event is out, but 99.99%. And with this tree, two things will happen. I level up in foraging. And I'm now level 360. I am now a purple name. Oh my god. I'm now purple. GG's. And also, actually, hold up. Let me wear egg. <laughs> yes, I the, the chocolate factory is currently down, but I... I stayed up till like midnight because I was, because I could for once, so I took advantage. I grinded, and let me see if I can actually find the egg. The you you when you find the, the new eggs, you get you get rabbits, and with those rabbits, you you basically play Cookie Clicker. That's literally what this is. Oh, it's Melody. All right. Please give me a new rabbit. Yeah, boys. All right, and now warp forge. I have two things in here: dwarven metal talisman done, dwarven hand warmers done, and now I can put this in here. 
by doing this. Bam. Bam. More sky block XP. As well as the Dwarven Hand Warmers actually go in museum. Uh, if I'm not super laggy. Bang. And just like that, nine more Skyblock XP. And what I'm gonna do with this is immediately shove glistening on it. Do slash EQ. Remove this, because this gets a lot more mining fortune than the glowstone gauntlet does. So I can now just do slash hex, throw you in there, and reforge you until you are bril brilliant, which from what I know gives the most um, intelligence. And it can now join the implosion belt in being piece two of four for the mage equipment. What I'm probably going to end up doing as well is when I get a pendant of Devon, I can immediately use you. I'm probably I'm going to reforge this recombed rift necklace to strengthen just cuz that's going to be nice. Um and then probably reforge like either this one or this one. I probably the this to brilliant and then boom or snowy. I was thinking that as well. But yeah, that's that's really cool that I got that much done, and I'm done with forging. I got forging 30, I said I would maybe go to 35. That's not happening. But from 24 to 30, I think that's respectable.